Hello everyone, this is Pal Ponder on Weather. In this update, we've got all kinds of weather from big storms to record heat to record cold, monsoon flow coming back, and even a coastal low developing by midweek. Welcome back everyone. Happy Father's Day weekend out there. We're gonna have a lot of fun this morning on this update. So if you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all my daily updates to keep you ahead of the storm. So let's get right to it. Uh, first of all, man, check this out, guys. We've got our steady stream of moisture, our monsoonal flow, and our surfer girl this morning is bringing all that monsoonal flow into the Four Corners regions where they desperately need the rain, but obviously they actually are gonna be getting a little bit too much. So this ground is very dry out here. And they could be looking at some flash flooding later on this afternoon. But at the same time, check this out on the water vapor imagery. We got a massive dip in the jet stream out here into the northeast. That's actually bringing down some really chilly air this morning up here. And they're waking up with temperatures pretty cold in the 40s and 50s up here into the northeast. And that's actually dragging down and going to be bringing a lot of record low temperatures in fact up there for tomorrow morning up in portions of the of the northeast but man look at the overall temperature anomalies i mean kind of rare to see for the middle of june seeing some of those 15 to 20 degrees below average temperatures this morning up here into the northeast it's all about the heat everywhere else because back here into the southeast up here into the midsection of the country they're going to be experiencing well into the 90s but you can actually see this little see this little dip in the temperatures here that's actually an easterly wave that's going to be coming across and hey we're talking rain showers in the state of texas guys <laughs> that's it it's happening we could be looking at maybe three o'clock nine o'clock you get these little daytime heating bubblers the atmosphere is pretty moist in this this area this this it's only about a 20 percent chance don't get too much don't get too crazy but it's only about a 20 percent chance but hey this could be having like what they call an easterly wave come across portions of the dallas warworth area and bring actually some few of these that are lucky to get some scattered rain showers out here into portions of north texas but out here into the west and the pacific northwest it's pretty chilly as well i mean it's so, I mean, you got a pretty significant trough that's going to be coming down out here into the Pacific Northwest. And you can also have another deepening jet stream dip up here into the Northeast, bringing all those colder air anomalies. But in the midsection of the country, it's all about the heat. But man, the Northeast is tonight. We're talking up to 16 record lows, guys. Yes, we're talking record lows. Portions of Wisconsin in the 50s, even Michigan in the 40s tonight up here in upstate New York. I mean, there's a 40 degree temperature back into Maine, mid to low 40s. All these little circles here, that is oh, in, in Ohio, 46. That is a, a record low temperature expected for tonight. So yeah, numerous areas from Delaware to Jersey up here into New York, New York here and you know, all these areas, even like I was looking at Mount Washington, New Hampshire, they're actually going to be dropping down to freezing temperatures tonight, even with some snow up there out at the top of the mountain there in Mount Washington, New, uh, New Hampshire. But hey, that rain dance is working. That rain dance is working out there into the Four Corners regions. That's actually bringing a marginal risk of excessive rainfall. Yes, I said a sex excessive rainfall for Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado. That's happening today, folks. And that's just the start of the monsoonal flow that I think that's what's going to un unfold really throughout the week. I think that steady stream of moisture, once it starts, it ain't going to stop. And it's got plenty to pull in. So, yeah. Hey, on Friday, as we go into tomorrow on Sunday, it's Father's Day, guys. <laughs> All right. Uh, what am I going to be doing? I'm out there going to be grilling. I mean, I'm going to be grilling. Uh, everybody's coming over so i hope you are too uh so yeah it's widespread sun we got a lot of lot of uh, nice weather up here in the pacific northwest but cooler conditions but cooler means 70s <laughs> 70 degree temperatures but in the midsection of the country you got plenty plenty of sun to deal with 
but up here in the Dakotas, you actually got some record heat happening up there. So it's going to be plenty hot to deal with with that. So definitely stay cool and stay by the pool and just uh, spend some time with the family and uh, hang out. But up here into the Northeast, I showed you that big, you know, record lows that's up here into the Northeast. That's actually going to be dropping that trough down, right? And so over time, I do feel there's actually going to be a developing low pressure system that's actually going to be developing, you know, probably sometime midweek on this trough that's going to be setting up shop over portions of the southeast. So by the time we get into Monday, so by the time we get into Monday, we got a pretty significant trough that's going to be coming in from the Pacific Northwest, tapping into all that energy and all that sun and heat that's going to be lifting up from the south. That could be producing some big time storms up here into portions of the Dakotas, North Dakota, South Dakota, eventually heading into portions of Minnesota. But it's all about the sun, a lot of sinking air. The high pressure is going to be really dominating over here for much of the southern plains, much of the southeast and much of the central plains, because this ridge of high pressure just actually kind of expands. And this is actually going to be developing in some pretty intense heat as we get towards the end of the end of the week. But yeah, but on Monday, you got that trough again, digging a little bit further south. So I do feel by the time we get into say Wednesday time frame, there's going to be a developing low pressure system out here at off off the coast of the of the southeast. So yeah, be sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button if you definitely like what you see. But as we get into Tuesday, we've got big time storms, right? So I showed you the trough coming in from the west. So by the time Tuesday rolls around, we got more instability pulling up from the south. We could be looking at some some severe thunderstorms with damaging winds and some large hail up here into portions of Minnesota and northwestern portions of Wisconsin, as we could be looking at a pretty nasty squall line developing with a damaging wind threat as we get into the afternoon hours into the early evening hours. So definitely be on high alert as we get closer to that Tuesday time frame up here into portions of the dakotas into minnesota as well as into the into uh, portions of what wisconsin there but as we get into wednesday right i mean that heat just really kind of expands right i showed you kind of that ridge of high pressure going to be really expanding over time and that low pressure system we'll be watching this off the coast this is by wednesday i think by wednesday we are going to be having a, a low level a low level center trying to develop off the southeast coast but at the same time we ain't talking about record cold anymore coming in but <laughs> that only lasts for like 24 36 hours of that cool down but we got widespread warmth filling in on the back side so by the time we get into wednesday we'll have a developing ridge over the top plenty of warm temperatures in the northeast and that will actually help uh, amplify and probably deepen this low pressure system and actually help uh, lower the pressures out here into portions of the southeast but by the time we get into thursday right we got that monsoonal flow we got our surfer dude out here in the pacific just riding the wave he's riding the wave he's doing his best he can to pull in all that pacific moisture and pulling in all those cooler anomalies and all those rains coming back for the four corners regions while we do have that trough up here into the Northwest, where we still be looking at for some stormy conditions up here into uh, Washington and Oregon and portions of Idaho, that'll swing over into portions of Montana. But by Thursday, that, that ridge of high pressure will really start to be dominating and just really start to expand for so much of Texas, Louisiana, the Southeast. I mean, we're gonna be experiencing well, one of the triple digits up here with plenty of dominating sinking air to contend with, with widespread record temperatures going to be unfolding as intense heat will really start to build as we get towards the end of the end of the week. But out here off into the off the off the uh, East Coast here into the Carolinas, we'll have to be watching again that developing low low level swirl out here into the open waters of the, of, of the Atlantic here and see if that actually develops in some sort of maybe potentially tropical type characteristics. Either way, it'll be a coastal low that'll be off the Southeast coast that we'll be have to watch it by midweek. So you can actually see by Friday, we've got a low, low pressure system 
off the coast of the Carolinas, off South Carolina, off North Carolina, that will be have to watch this try to try to move its way inland and bring some storm chances uh, into portions of the Carolinas back into Virginia. It's yet to remain if that's actually going to be forming into any tropical type characteristics. But either way, it will be a coastal low that will develop midweek and try to enter portions along the along the east coast as we get towards friday going into probably saturday time frame but there it is on saturday right i mean you got that dominating ridge of high pressure we've got our third tropical storm of the season out here in the open waters of the pacific heading off to, into sea but it's pulling in all that tropical moisture we got the surfer dude pulling in all this tropical moisture still heading into the four corners regions while everybody else is where are you at I'm at the pool. <laughs> I'm at the pool, right? We got a lot of sun. We got a lot of heat and it's hot. It's going to be really hot. And that heat just will just continue to expand while we have our low pressure system out here on, off, the, off the southeast coast. We'll probably make and trying to make impact and bring in some heavier rains off the coastal regions by, but this, but that won't actually be by this time next weekend will be next saturday uh, with that low pressure system because you can actually see on the surface map right here we've got our, our tropical system out here into the open waters of the pacific and then we have our coastal low making at making a uh, landfall as we get into saturday time frame into portions of the carolinas and that could bring some rain showers and storm development along the east coast here so we'll have to be fine-tuning this and see if it you know does develop in any type of tropical characteristics as we get deeper into the middle of next week so but overall here's your rain chances right i mean that surfer guy <laughs> has really helped out and pulled in all that tropical moisture out here and the monsoonal flow will really start to come back so we're looking at some fairly healthy rains coming back for new mexico that'll swing into southern and central portions of colorado that'll that'll impact portions of the desert southwest getting into portions of arizona and utah much of california is fairly dry they'll be experiencing those cooler conditions but the rain, scattered rain showers for them as the pacific uh, flow will be lifting off into the pacific uh, you know up up, at, up here into the pacific northwest but as these systems come across, we've got some more heavier rains coming back from Montana and then swinging into the Dakotas once we have that severe threat potentially Monday and Tuesday up here into Minnesota and portions of Wisconsin. And then we'll have to be watching that coastal low off the East Coast while much of Texas and much of the middle of the country under that ridge of high pressure most of the week is really going to be locked with sinking air and not much to speak of. So anything that might happen in Texas today will be off that easterly wave coming in and bring in some little maybe light scattered showers. But after that, you ain't expecting nothing for the foreseeable future. So, hey, I appreciate you guys uh, watching. Do like this video. Definitely hit the subscribe button and catch me in the next update where I protect you before and after the storm.